Hey guys, Phil with the Minuteman Moment, and there's no doubt that you remember the horrible gun control bill that Republicans begged Democrats to pass with them. Thankfully for us, Representative Lauren Boebert introduced a bill in the House to repeal the massive gun control law that was just enacted last June. Here's what we're fighting to repeal, giving millions of dollars to bribe state legislators into enacting red flag gun confiscation laws, changes in federal law that open a back door to universal background registration checks, delayed and expanded background checks for citizens under 21 years old, disarming men and women for nonviolent shouting offenses that might have occurred years ago. And now GOA needs grassroots activists, like yourselves, to urge your representatives to co-sponsor this bill in the House and to urge one of your senators to step up and introduce a companion bill in the Senate. So please add your name to our pre-written letter urging action from the House and the Senate to repeal the sweeping gun control package enacted last June and make sure to click the link in the description. I'm going to be completely honest with you, getting this bill in Pelosi's house is going to be a challenge to say the least, but we have to start building momentum now because if and when Republicans ever take over, we need to be certain there's already a bill in place with strong support and backing to repeal this gun grab. That's the way this works. You have to build a culture around a bill sometimes. And if Congress hasn't heard a peep about this unconstitutional gun law until January of next year, this won't be a priority for the new House majority. We need to get the House moving now. It's especially important to pressure Republicans to take action because many of them voted for this bill back in June. So they need to feel the pressure. 15 Republicans in the Senate and 14 in the House just voted to shred your God-given rights, and GOA warned each and every one of them that passing this law would be a huge problem with their voters. All right, here's just one stat on that. 78% of GOP incumbents who lost their primary voted for red flag laws in the NDAA. Winning one minute of praise from the mainstream media that hates their guts just wasn't worth betraying their gun-owning constituents. The media has already moved on, and Joe Biden is now essentially calling Republicans, enemies of the state, so much for bipartisanship. Swing voters who, according to polls, actually don't have strong feelings about gun control have already forgotten about that bipartisan gun control deal. But you know who hasn't forgotten? Us, gun owners. And we were all right when we said this would cost Republicans politically. After leading on the generic congressional ballot for months and months, Republicans are now starting to fall behind. A July poll of more than 22,000 gun owners found that 68% consider themselves single issue voters when it comes to gun rights. And it's no coincidence that enthusiasm among Republican voters has been declining. But the House and Senate can fix this mess before the election by supporting Congresswoman Boebert's efforts to repeal the recent assault on our rights. So that's why I'd like you to add your name to our pre-written letter to urge your representative to co-sponsor this bill in the House and urge your senator to step up and introduce a Senate companion in the Senate. And after you click the link below to send a message to your representative and senators, make sure to call all three of them with this number on the screen and in the description. Thanks again for all that you do to fight for our rights to keep and bear arms and if you like and share this video, the word will get out. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I have big news for you. The Minuteman Moment is nearing its 100th video, and to say thank you, we wanted to do something big. We've seen a lot of progress here, whether it's defeating David Chipman, breaking the news on the ATF's illegal gun registry, or even me ditching the suit and glasses. Ugh. I wanted to say thank you to everyone, whether you just joined or have been with us from the start. And so to make 100 even more special, I'll be answering questions you guys send me through our social media platforms. They can be anything from how I got into politics and Second Amendment work, how I got connected with GOA, and if I'm optimistic about the future of gun rights and the country in general. And on top of that, we've partnered with some great companies to give back to everyone that's been watching, commenting, and staying informed on what GOA has been doing these last 99 episodes. So be sure to enter the giveaway at the link in the description below and comment on our social media posts for a chance to get your comment answered. And once again, thank you for watching the Minuteman Moment and me, Phil, I'll see you on our 100th episode.